What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Fire Grind. My name is Daniel and on this channel we talk about stocks and today I'm going to be bringing you another quick technical analysis on CloudMD. As you notice I'm out here in a different home, it's actually my mother-in-law's home so yeah I just decided to film a video this morning and yeah we have a new crispy lens on the camera so hope you enjoy the video. Also Miss Tyke just trying to figure out what to do because she had this bone right here that was just very loud as she slammed on the ground, so I took it away for her just for this video. Let's get right into it. If you go to Yahoo Finance and try to find the stock charts, all you'll see is a single candle. So I decided to jump on the web broker platform and just show you guys how I use this as well. So you can see here we have CloudMD. Its last price is $1.36, and on Friday it went up by 14%, which you can see this candle here. And you might be wondering, why did this happen to CloudMD stock? And I'm just going to break down what's been happening in the past couple of months and show you guys what I think um, and all the technical analysis that could be used to have justified this price increase. So I've already drawn two lines here on the chart, as you can see. These two blue parallel lines indicate that there's a flag that was forming. And usually what happens for a flag is there's a huge run up just before the flag starts to happen and then it flags downwards and this is a bullish flag. So although it is trending downwards, eventually it breaks out and goes to new all time highs. If you're looking for a flag, usually you can find the flag once it starts breaking out. But a couple other characteristics you can look for is if you go down to the volume, you can see as we were ascending in the first part of the flag or I guess before the flag started to happen. You can also notice the volume picked up quite a bit here. And then as the flag started to consolidate downwards, you can see that the volume sort of petered off near the end. And then we had a breakout right here, which was accompanied by higher volume, much higher volume. So you can see that the volume just spiked up here. And then we have this little move right here, which you can almost even call this a cup and handle, I think. So here's the cup. And then there's the handle here and it went to new highs. Um, so there are two patterns I see right here that you could have used to predict this breakout. Um, again, these are not always going to happen, but there is a good chance that, you know, breakouts could happen or breakdowns can happen when you use technical analysis. Um, I also want to talk about how there's the 200 day, 100 day and 50 day moving average. And as soon as we broke above the 50 day moving average, the stock never came back down to touch that. So that's another thing that I didn't talk about in my previous video on well health technologies, how you can use the different moving averages to time your buying point. And usually if you're below the 200 day moving average or coming near to it, it might signal it's a good buy point, especially if it's a stock that's been trending upwards and it's got good tailwinds to its business. Another thing you can look for here in the charts is the RSI. So this is a relative strength index. And you can see that as this flag trended lower, the RSI kept dropping, which meant that there was a lot of, I guess, fear in the markets as people thought CloudMD stock was overvalued and they were basically, the stock became oversold. So as you can see, the oversold section here on the RSI indicator is sitting around 40 and it almost touched the oversold. So I think that if you were to buy right down here in the oversold um, and using the RSI, it's not a bad idea either. Uh, however, I'd say the flag pattern was a little bit more reliable looking back, but hindsight is 2020. Another thing that you could use is the MACD. And usually the MACD, there's these two lines, there's the 12 and the 26 day moving average. Um, and then we can see as the lines cross is what you should be noticing. Uh, so the lines crossed here um, and you can see that as they cross, the stock went down. So you're looking for these crossing points to predict the price of the stock and where it's headed. And we can see here when the MACD crossed over, this signaled to a lot of the traders that the stock was possibly going to shoot up. But another thing you'll notice along the lines here that the stock actually, or the MACD crossed a couple of times here and there was no real good confirmation. So I wouldn't trade exactly when the MACD crosses, but you want to wait for some sort of confirmation before you enter into a position if you're using technical analysis. So at this point, let's say you saw the MACD cross, you wouldn't buy in right away. I would probably wait at least one or two days afterwards to see if there's full candles above this line. 
And sure enough, we saw full candles above the line. But here, if you see the MACD cross right here, we were still in the channel. Volume was weak, so it's not a good time to buy. So that's basically how I would have done technical analysis on CloudMD. Um, also, if we look over at CloudMD's blog or investor relations page to talk about the different news that came out about the company, we can see that on August 13th was the last piece of news before we jumped to August 24th. And if we correlate that on the charts, August 13th is right around um, right here, August 13th. So August 13th was the last piece of news. And what was that news? Basically, they signed a definitive agreement to acquire a clinic in Mississauga. And I don't think that news was the news that actually pushed the stock up. And the reason for that is CloudMD's business is really based on the telemedicine side, not so much the clinics that they acquire. So the clinics that they acquire, they're the lower margin businesses. And I think the clinics that they acquire is more so for building up their SaaS business. Um, but it doesn't indicate that but when they purchase a clinic, it doesn't mean that they're increasing the revenue significantly because these clinics in the grand scheme of things are fairly small and their revenues are, I guess, relatively insignificant in the long run. Again, on August 24th, they acquired another clinic as well with seven locations. It's a profitable clinic. And if we see here on the charts, August 24th was right here where we had this green candle. But I think this green candle was more so the fact that we broke above this resistance line, which is around the 96 cent level. And you can see that it touched 96 cents here, here. And even if we go back in time, it was, you know, 96 cents or a dollar. Roughly around here, there was a resistance line. But there was a heavy push upwards. And I don't think that was anything to do with news, but maybe more so more investors seeing the stock break out and just buying in. Um, and that's why we had, you know, the recent run up in the past four or five days. So those are my thoughts on CloudMD. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want me to do deeper analysis or more technical analysis on stocks, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys also have any insights on technical analysis, also I'd be more interested to learn from you guys um, who maybe have more experience than me because I started doing technical analysis a couple weeks ago, um, but have also dabbled in it a bit in the past. As always, if you're a returning subscriber, drop that like. And if you're new here, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to hear more content about Canadian stocks. Keep up the grind and have a great day.